Hello everybody, welcome to this short introduction to uh, course profiles. What we need to do is just understand what a course profile is for. And basically a course profile is the contract between the student and the university. Everything that you need to do is contained within the course profile. So all the information about the assessment items, how you're going to do it, and also information about the course is contained within the uh, course profile. So how do I get access to the course profile? And the easiest way would be to log on to your Moodle site for this specific course. And uh, once again, we're going to use uh, cost planning and control as our example. Right, the uh, course profile link uh, sits here on the top left hand corner as part of our consistency blocks. We can just click on the course profile link and that will immediately take us to another web page. Right, and this web page is where our e-course profile is located. So for students that want to print this out, you can just click on the uh, save as PDF and you can select the different sections of the course profile that you would like to choose. For instance, if you're only interested in the assessment tasks, you would only have to tick it over there and that would be the uh, items that uh, are included in the printing. All right, so that's easy enough for you to do. Uh, if we have a quick run through through the course profile, let's have a look at each of the tabs and you'll see there uh, the first one deals with general information. So basically a, a little write-up about the course that you're about to embark on. It gives us an uh, indication of the level, the credit points, uh, the, the contribution band, and of course also the FTSL loading that this course represent. It also states information about prerequisites that might exist for the specific course that we're going to do. Now as BLAR11049 is the first course, that we have to do in this uh, degree, there's obviously going to be no prerequisites. Right, and then of course there's also a link to go back to Moodle and uh, access it from there. Alright, so that's the general tab. If we look at the class and assessment, this will give us uh, information about what to expect in terms of the assessment items for this course. Now we can see that cost planning and control has got four written assessments and each of the uh, courses that you are going to uh, enroll in during your academic career here at Siki University will be different. All right, most of them will have about four assessment items, some of them might only have three, some of them might have written assessment items and some of them might have um, online quizzes or presentations that you'll have to do. You'll have to pay close attention to that. Uh, important, the assessment conditions over there, really important that we um, take care of reading these uh, conditions, they're really specific and they deal typically with what happens if we have a late submission and what happens if we fail one of the assessments. Alright, so more information there for you to read through. If we look at the university policies, these are the policies and procedures that typically exist and that you might want to access during your time here at university. Um, most probably the important ones there, plagiarism, review of grade policy, those are the typically the most important ones. Don't get caught with uh, copying from websites. Make sure that you reference the information correctly. Make sure that you uh, comply with the policies and procedures of the university. All right, so that's, uh, and, and you can regularly go back and check this. Uh, it's always going to be there. Uh, the learning outcomes for this uh, for this course there we can see there's our learning outcomes and basically these are the five most important things that we have to remember in terms of what we want to achieve with our course so for uh, built environment communication and skills obviously we'll have a different set of learning outcomes if we look at the alignment of the learning outcomes with the graduate attributes we can see that it's well aligned and the areas that typically get left out in some of the courses might be teamwork and cross-cultural competence. You will also find the alignment with the learning outcomes with the graduate attributes on this page. Alright, so that gives us uh, information of how well this course aligns with the graduate attributes that the university has. Alright, so for the specific term that we have, we can also now access the textbooks and this is where typically we'll find the information about the textbooks. We'll also find a link to the university bookshop and of course the IT resources. Alright, so for every course that you are taking in the built environment in um, the next couple of years, you will need 
a headphone, a microphone, uh, and you will need access to the internet. Everything is going electronic. Uh, many of the courses now require you to do online presentations, and therefore it's uh, always good to have these headphones. And the good thing about it is you can buy them for about $20 at any of the uh, Kmart or Big W shops, and uh, that will last you for the duration of your study. All right, you can also use, of course, your, if you already have an iPod or an iPhone, you can use those little speakers and they will work just fine. All right, so the information about the resources in there. If we look at the referencing style, all of the courses at the built environment are using the Harvard referencing style, so make sure that you understand how that uh, works and, of course, you can download a link straight from there. The teaching contacts, all right, so in this case, I'm the course coordinator for cost planning and control, just the name, and more information about the details can be found on the Moodle website for that specific course. The schedule, this is just a basic indication of what needs to happen during what time of the term. So basically you'll see the indication of the uh, weeks that, that we have uh, <clears throat> and what we want to achieve during that week. All right, so this is a, a rough estimate of how you need to work around your study. Um, the basic rule of thumb is that you have to uh, do at least 12 hours uh, per week, otherwise you're just not going to make it. All right, so if you really look at it, basically we uh, say we have six days a week, excluding Sunday, then it's basically two days a week that we two hours a week, two, two hours a day that we have to work on our schedule. All right, the assessment items, and typically this is the area where you are going to uh, start. I know I know how students work. I was a student as well, so. This is typically the first thing that we tend to access is what needs to be submitted. All right, so there's all the information, the submission date that we have for our um, first assessment, and this date should correspond with what we have in the Moodle website. All right, and then of course we can just download, depending on the type of assessment it is, if it's uh, maybe a quiz, you won't find a downloadable item, but if it's uh, an assessment that you have to write, uh, you will find that by clicking on that, that will bring up the assessment for you and now you can just scroll down and find out exactly what needs to do, what needs to be done. So you'll see for this specific uh, course, there's quite a lot of information uh, about the assessment item that needs to be adhered to and uh, of course, the more you read about this, the more um, familiar you're going to become with the uh, requirements from the university. All right, so back to our assessment, and there you can see there's just basically the overview of all of the assessments that we have to do. So the first thing that we have to do is make sure that we download our course profile from the course profile link, but also really, really important is these first few links on the course. Information about the course, how are we going to submit it? Is it going to be, um, electronic submission, is it going to be hard copy submission? All of those questions will be answered over here. All right, so it's really important that you access the Moodle website, use the Moodle website to understand what this course requires from us. All right, so there's the quick nine minute introduction to the course profiles at CQ University.